guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, creating another rebar. This time around, we're going to put it on a perpendicular face. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to create a rebar on our simple foundation detail uh, parallel to the face. But this time around, I'm going to show you how to create a rebar placing it perpendicular. All right, so let's do this one. Okay, so let us add some details on our model. So remember, this is the one that we have done last time. So we are still on the reinforcing topic. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the Structure tab. And then let's go to the Rebar tool again, the Structural Rebar. So let's select that one. And then, all right, so from the rebar shape browser, again, I'll just be using the rebar shape 00. zero. So last time we used here current work plane, and then we use here uh, parallel to work plane. So this time, so let's try to use perpendicular to cover, okay? So you still have other options here that you can use, but for the placement, I'm just going to use first perpendicular to cover. It plays perpendicular to work plane and perpendicular to the nearest cover reference. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And then after that, you can also specify here the rebar set, the layout. So instead of single, so you can change this to uh, fixed number, maximum spacing, number width spacing, and minimum clear spacing. So let's say, for example, I'll be using maximum spacing of... Uh, let's say one foot okay so maximum spacing of one foot and then as you can see I'm going to hover my pointer so depending on how you you move your pointer on the face or on our work plane it shows you how it looks like okay so if I'm going to move my pointer up so it looks like this as you can see Revit automatically is spaced that maximum spacing of uh, one foot right you see okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place it here okay I'm just going to pick there you go and then after that I just need to select your modify now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to change the size of this so instead of number four so I'll just select that three bar so from the type selector, I'm going to change that to, let's say, for example, 10. Number 10. Okay. So it's now too close to my rebar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And then I'll just use the arrow on my keyboard to nudge it. All right. There you have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this to the other side here. So I'm going to select that one. Copy. And then uh, I'm just going to pick here. And then I'm just going to place it here. There you go. And then select modify or escape a couple of times to terminate the tool. So again, I'll just use select that. And then I'll just use my arrow on the keyboard to nudge it. Okay. There you go. So let's say, for example, I also want to add here in this area. Okay, so same procedure. So I'm going to select the Structure tab, uh, Rebar. Okay, again, the Rebar shape 0, 0. And I'll be using the same uh, placement of perpendicular to cover. And then let's say I'll change the Rebar set layout. So instead of uh, single, a while ago I, I used the maximum spacing. So this time I'll use... Uh, fixed number so I select that one and then you can specify here the fixed number of three part that you want so let's say for example uh, let's say four okay and then as you can see it will now show here four B bars right so it depends on the position of your pointer on how you will be able to place the rebar so let's say I'll just place it uh, one here there you go pick and then just select here modify now I'm going to click that one and then again I'll just change here the size so let's say I'll use a uh, 8 okay you can you can play around okay so there's a lot of options for you to be able to work around with your rebar so these are just 
this is just some of the example. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select all the rebars that I have placed here. So I select all of that, hold control, uh, click one rebar and then hold control and then select the other rebar. And then we can also control the visibility of that. So from the graphics on our instance properties, so I'm going to select edit and then you can move the slider down and then you can specify here where do you want to see this uh, rebar. So let's say I only want to see that on the typical foundation. So I'll just uncheck this one and then this one only on my typical foundation. Okay. Right, so if you want to see that in the 3D view, you can just check that on the 3D view and then you can view it as solid like that. Okay, all right, and then I'll just select here, okay, and there you have it. So basically, that's how you add your uh, rebar in perp uh, perpendicular uh, position. Okay, so we have learned last time how to place it in parallel. So this time we have learned how to place it perpendicularly. All right. Okay, so that's it for this uh, short video. On our next topic, we're going to talk about sketching our rebar. Okay, so thank you uh, once again. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye-bye.